Hello everyone, this is Mr. Appel, and today I'm going to show you how to simplify radicals using factor trees. So the, the basic idea here is this. Whenever you take a radical, let's say something like the square root of 5, and multiply it by itself, the square root of 5, that is the square root of 25, which of course is just 5. And, and that's not a coincidence that those fives are what shows up in your answer. Because if you think about this another way, the square root of 5 times the square root of 5 is really the square root of 5 squared. Well, square root and squared are opposite operations. They cancel each other out, and so you're just left with the 5. And that's true for any number. So if I say you should simplify the square root of 327 times the square root of 327, you shouldn't need a calculator. It's just 327. So knowing that is going to allow us to use this method. So let's say we wanted to simplify something like the square root of 50. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break down 50 using factor trees. And if you remember factor trees, it doesn't really matter how you break it down. We're going to break it down to all the primes. So 50 is 5 times 10. 5 is a prime, so I circle it. 10 is 5 times 2. 5 is prime, so I circle it. 2 is prime, so I circle it. So 50, what I've just done is rewrite the square root of 50 as the square root of 2 times the square root of 5 times the square root of 5. And so what I'm looking for is situations like this. I'm looking for a radical times itself. So square root of 5 times the square root of 5 is just 5. And so I can rewrite this as the square root of 2 times 5, or just 5, whoops, five, ooh, let's try that again. It's just 5 times the square root of 2. And so that is how you can use uh, the factor tree method for simplifying radicals. I'm going to give you another example that's a little bit more interesting. Let's say we're doing something like the square root of 72. So now if we do the square root of 72, uh, we can again break that down any way we want. Let's say I do 8 and 9, and 8 is 4 times 2, and 2 is prime, so I circle it, and 4 is 2 times 2. Really important to circle those primes so you can keep track of uh, the numbers that you're using. So what, what I just did there is I showed that the square root of 72 is just um, 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 is going to give me 72. So again, since the whole point of this is I know when I have this situation, a square root times itself, I get just that number outside of the radical, I'm going to use that here. So I'm looking for that situation. So I see there's a couple of twos, and there's a couple of threes. So this two twos, that's the square root of two times the square root of two, becomes just a two. This is square root of three times the square root of three, which is just three. And now there's a two left over, which stays under the radical. Well, I can simplify that a little more. Two times three is six, so that's six times the square root of two. And that is my final answer.